You wouldn't believe it, vlog. We've had a fender bender this morning. <laughs> Whoopsie. This is the insurance. I'm just about to go to breakfast club. Next minute, <laughs> some fucking kid Hi, ran into me. Robin. I'm just calling. Um, basically, this morning we've had a very, very minor um, somebody run into us. So here's us. And so the, in Australia, we drive this way, right? On the left side of the road. Yeah. Tessie is here. This is, we're parked on the road. And Robin has um, walked across the road, delivered the coffee, hmm? and she's in the car. Here we go. We're in drive. Dang. This guy's come in hot because he works right here. And um, he's got on the anchors real quick. I've got on the brakes. We both sort of, sort of stopped. Like, you remember yeah. this, babe? We stopped yeah. here. He jumped on the gas. And then yeah. so from a very short distance here, he's gone bang. Yeah. Julian was here. <laughs> Then Julian, so he was at the coffee shop. Julian's like, what happened? I'm like, we just had a bloody fender bender. Everyone at the coffee shop's watching, looking. Yeah, all the oh, spectators like, oh fuck, some kid just crashed into the Tesla. <laughs> you can see the damage here. It's very, quite minor. Very minor, but still noticeable. But the big thing, what happened in the, in the accident is this thing here snapped, see this? And so that whole thing, even though it's a minor little snap, they've got to replace this whole unit. Yeah. And so we got the quote in. back last night, which was like a thousand bucks, eh? Yeah. So yeah. the guy has to, the, did you send him the invoice? I sent him, we're just waiting to hear back from him. The guy who, the, the perpetrator of the accident has to, I guess. The young kid. The young kid has to pay for that. <laughs> Take us to Pack Fair Supercharger. We're going on a little road trip. We're going on one. Sunday fun day. Yeah. Have we introduced the vlog yet? I don't think so. Hello, good morning. We're on the third day of it. We're going down to the GC, the Gold Coast. My old hood. Hey babe. Wanna go past Rex? I wanna tell the story of Rex Apartments. Yeah. I think today's the day of vlog. We're gonna tell you about Rexy. Yeah, we're gonna show you the drug den uh, the, where I found Robin. <laughs> Job that I can do for you. <laughs> so this is our first time at the Gold Coast Superchargers Bay. First time. We've got eight bays. Look at them all. Isn't that sick? That's so cool. Oh, they're sitting in their car having breakfast club. Are they? <laughs> Everyone has breakfast club in the Tessie. Yeah. You, you gotta you gotta try it to really understand how amazing it is. I love the Gold Coast. Like I really feel so called to moving back here and living here again with yeah. you. Yeah. It's going to be a big push because we love living in Brisbane and it's going to be like away from our family, away from our friends. But I just, just every time I come here, I just feel so called to it, you yeah, know? You it know. just feels like home. Yeah, you know when you go to a place and you feel like, this feels like me. It feels like I, I fit in, you mm -hmm. know? And other places where you're like, uh, you know? Yes. We are here. We are here. Rex Apartments. The Rex it is here. <laughs> they don't film those chairs. I can't believe that it is um still... In structure, I would have sort of been uh, knocked down by now. <laughs> or blown over by yeah. wind, the wind. That's where I used to park my car, right uh, here. Yeah. And my apartment was the second door along. I don't know if you guys can see uh, that. Make sure you get the sign in it. Oh, where does it say? Oh, there it is. Rex. Rex Apartments. There it is. I think one of the residents Up is there. looking at us filming. Yeah, I think apartment. so. <laughs> Whoops. You want to get the hell out of here? <laughs> I mean, geez, it is pretty um, decrepit. Yeah. Oh my goodly gosh, man. Oh, so weird, to be honest. I really, think we get the fuck out of here. really weird. So, this is where I first pulled up. In, yeah. In Betty at the time. Yeah. And then I, you know, I was thinking, God, man, what have I got myself into? <laughs> Who is this girl? Are you either a yeah. drug dealer or a prostitute? <laughs> well, not a very successful one of either. <laughs> now, that was like the first place I'd ever moved out from home. I was like living on my own, being Miss Independent. Like it was a big stepping stone for me. Mm. But I was also like very lonely. Like I had no friends, no family on the Gold Coast. And literally one night, the 25th of November, 2012, I was literally going through my phone. Who can I message? Down the bottom from like months previous, there was this guy named Lewis mm. that I hadn't talked to in months. And I thought, fuck it. I'm just going to message him. In. All I said was, hey, how are you going? Yeah. Wasn't that it? And then I said, I'm in. <laughs> You no, know, and relationship initially flourished at the Gold Coast. It really was, you know? yeah. Then we came back to Brisbane. Then we, I moved back to Brisbane yep. to be with Lewis. I've already tried on my bag. She's just getting it out and ready for us, hey? Yeah. And getting us a little beverage. Beverageino. Yep. Beverageino. <laughs> Lewis has literally been on my bag about getting a good bag for 
years. Yeah. Like eight years, probably the whole time we've been together. Yeah. Well, what's the rule of the house? The rule is always for the best quality. Yeah. And you keep running around with these bloody little shit shoes. Yeah. So can you get off my back now? Can you go back? <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Gosh, I got the headache of the ages, eh, hey, today? How's the hangover? Golly gosh, man. It is a beautiful day, though. We picked a good day to come down, hey, hey. we just ran into some of our students. Yeah, Dimitri yeah. and Brittany. Dimitri and Britt. Good to see you guys, by the way. Now, the only other place I want to go on the Gold Coast before we leave is Cardamom Pod. I don't know if you guys remember in a vlog way, 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 way back, one of my favorite vegan, vegetarian, like, cafes is on the Gold Coast, on my street, and they have this... Mm, delicious pumpkin cheesecake. Got the goods. We got four to bring Sarah and Julian home some too. <laughs> We're back from the GC. We are home. I have my little my little goodie here. Little unboxing, babe. Yeah, a little bit of ASMR. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah. Louis Vuitton certainly knows how to package mm. things, don't they? And they know how to make you feel special in the shop. Too. They do. It's the customer service at Louis Vuitton, I think, is like yeah. part of why you pay that much. Yeah. Oh. And the it smell. Smells so it good. It all smells the same. It's called the Louis smell. Mm. Oh. This is very cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna geek out with my bag now. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. Little man is an injury. Has to wear this silly cone. <laughs> I can't remember how to use them. <laughs> <laughs> Get off the tools for too long. <laughs> Bunch of useless tradesmen here. <laughs> We're having a family barbecue Sunday BBQ at yeah. the Wallers. The Waller fam. Yeah. Here we are. Hello. King of the castle. Yeah. What have you done, mate? Oh. She's good. Bloody hell. Bit of oil. <laughs> <laughs> smells delicious. Thank you, Chef Julian. That's all right. Do you want to comment on your cheesecake, Robin? Mm, it's delicious. Oh, what about? Uh -oh. oh, you want some cheesecake? Yeah, he wants some. That is it. That is the end of episode 13. I think I got that right this time. Episode 13. We'll see you guys in the next one.